Alright guys, welcome to this week's episode. Today marks an important day or an important weekend where we finish majority of the electrical installation. We need to install the Serbo GX and the GX Touch and also my starter battery is dead so we need to hook up the MultiPlus trickle charger to the starter battery. This will mark pretty much the finish of the electrical bench installation and next week we're gonna crack on with the diesel heater install so that's exciting. Let's get the Serbo GX up and running. What this guy does is it allows us to connect everything together and it allows us to remote into the MultiPlus. It will also monitor our water levels and all that stuff so it's basically the brain of the operations. We can use our phone at the moment but everything will be connected to this as well and then all the stuff is going to be displayed on this touch screen that we're going to mount up there it should be pretty easy we just need to connect it to positive negative connect this with a HDMI cable and for the MultiPlus we just need to use an RJ45 cable and we should be good to go I don't know where this guy is going to be mounted yet but for now we're just going to have it set up here the kit literally just comes with this which is the positive and the negative cable. So once we connect this to the links, we should be good to go. Turn power off. This has an inline fuse. So we can just connect it the same place where we connected the shunt. So on the end here, the negative I'll probably connect down there. Power in, plugs in here on the bottom. Like so. There we go, we need our screen over here, that's the HDMI, plug that in there, USB, plug it in here, there we go, and now we just need the power, plug and play friendly, that's plugged in, there's the screen, let's turn things on, whoa! Uh, here we go, something's happening, did I do something wrong? Hey, something's happening, there you go, something's happening, Bluetooth, things are flashing, I think it's not talking to things yet, so let's get it set up. For the servo to talk to things, like the shunt, the MPPT and the MultiPlus, we need to connect them via cable. The MPPT and the shunt connects this cable. It's called a VE Direct. I'll put links in the description. I got a 30 centimeter one that I already connected. It goes from the servo to the shunt. And then I got a 90 centimeter one, which will go from the servo to the MPPT controller. So you need two of these. They're quite expensive actually. They're like 15 quid each and it doesn't come in the pack. For the MultiPlus, you need one of these cables, which is called an RJ45. I already ran it. I just need to plug it in. So I'll show you where that connects. So on the servo end, the uh, RJ45 from the MultiPlus plugs into one of these ports, upside down. There we go. And the RJ45 goes to the MultiPlus and it connects right there. All right, so everything's connected. Let's turn things on and see if everything working. Here we go. You can see things are working. It shows the solar coming in, shows a battery. It's not showing the current state of charge because we just turn it on and off and it needs to fully charge the battery for it to synchronize. It shows our AC loads. At the moment, it's nothing because the inverter is off. And then here it shows the shore power coming in, which we're not plugged in at the moment. There are different pages with different overviews and it will also show our water tank levels when we have those hooked up but yeah the Sobo gx is up and running now it also lets us set up a vrm online portal now which we will get steve from roma to log in and configure the multiplus to make sure that everything is set up correctly Okay, so everything is still a mess, but on the MultiPlus down there, there's a spade connector where we need to connect this wire that we ran ages ago. And I got some of these switches that we're going to connect 
to that cable so we can turn the trickle charge on or off because it's always on as far as I know. Then on the battery end we have this guy which we just need to connect to the positive terminal with a little hole connector thing and we should be good to go. I just connected the trickle charger to there with the little ring nut crimp connector things and let me show you what I've done at the back. At the multiplus at the back the spade connector is connected there to a trickle charge and then it comes out goes through that hole. It's connected to this with a switch that goes to the front the other cable uh, and I'll probably mount this somewhere on this back panel at some point or maybe I'll put it up here I haven't decided yet but for now this will do. All right, so here we are in the smart shunt. You can see my starter battery is at 2.36 volts, which is super low. I'm not even sure if this is going to take a charge. And when I flick the switch, yay, it's working. Cool. So you can see current, we have four and a half amps going out via the multiplus to the trickle charge. And the start battery is now at 11 and a half volts. So yeah, I'm gonna let this run and see if it charges our batteries. Just one more note while we're here. It seems that even if the multiplus is off, as long as it has power connected to it, it will still supply four amps out of the trickle charge. So you can't just turn the multiplus on and off to turn the trickle charger off. You need to hook it up to a switch. Otherwise, it will always charge the starter battery. So something to bear in mind, make sure you connect it to a switch.